you never know when trouble will come to call. When it does, your best defense is delaying entry and getting law enforcement officers to the scene as quickly as possible, minimizing the impact of the attack. A standard response to an attack is to press a panic button. There's a man at the door with a gun! What? Most emergency notification systems report to the central station, often hundreds of miles away. The dispatcher then calls to verify the alarm before contacting law enforcement, delaying response time. Yes, it's G.D. Al Gore. There's a man, he's got a gun, he's at the front door trying to get in. Once dispatch verifies the emergency and identifies the nature of the problem, law enforcement is called. Since the dispatcher is not based locally, it may take several moments to determine which agency to call. Upon calling law enforcement, they must explain the nature of the emergency and provide address and other details. Even when school personnel follow procedure, it can take several minutes before law enforcement is even dispatched to the school. A minute in these circumstances can completely change the outcome. Usually only a few people are involved at the outset of an emergency. They have the responsibility for both reporting the event and taking other action. Even if there are SROs on campus, they may not be present when the emergency presents itself. School! School lockdown! Stairs! School lockdown! Stairs! If officers are nearby, they can't help unless they know there's a problem. Delaying an attacker's entry is critical. This allows law enforcement the time to respond before the situation escalates. Copy base. I just drove past that school a few seconds ago. Everything appeared 10 4. better ways to handle an emergency. Simple devices can be used to delay an attacker and contact law enforcement authorities simultaneously and immediately. All staff initiating lockdown. All staff initiating lockdown. One button push can notify all local law enforcement officers monitoring their primary frequency on the radios that they already carry. They are notified immediately of the emergency along with the location and details of the incident. Assistance at Naperville High School in the principal's office. Respond immediately. Base 10-9, I'm on scene. This real-time notification is an immediate call for help. All law enforcement officers, including dispatch and SROs, receive the notification as soon as the panic button is pressed. At the same time, an email or text message can be sent to school personnel so that they are immediately aware of the situation, even if no PA announcement is made. It's vital to harden entry points using advanced transparent window film and access control systems to delay access to the building long enough for law enforcement to arrive on the scene. But it's also vital to have a system that notifies law enforcement of a critical emergency without any delay. Get off the ground! Get off the ground! Drop the gun! Get off the ground! Even with many of the security enhancements that are in place, they can be readily 
overcome without much effort. The wave unit is a type of a panic or duress alarm that notifies law enforcement over their primary radio frequency rather than going through a central alarm station. Therefore, the response time for the law enforcement officers is much quicker than it would normally be through other traditional types of panic or duress alarm. It reduces the response time down to, you know, as long as it takes the police officer to hear it and get to that school. ServiceWorks Incorporated out of Farmingdale, New Jersey is a security technologies integrator and we are a provider of this product that is made by and manufactured by SecureTech out of Texas. The schools generally use safety glass where if you punch it or you hit it with a hammer or whatever you want to do, whatever you would use to break the glass, it, it drops. So then somebody could easily, even if the door is locked with the best locking mechanism in place, they can reach in and open the door. Uh, with a 3M brand low cost transparent safety film, it's not bulletproof. But what it does is if you hit it, the glass stays in place. Eventually it can be chopped through or broken through and still possibly access the controls inside to open the door, but it's going to slow that person's ability down to actually get into the school. If you slow that person's ability down to get into the school and you speed up the response by the police officers, that's, a, that's gonna go a long way to reduce the amount of school violence in the United States. Any steps that you can take to reduce the response time of law enforcement responding to your school in the case of an emergency is going to greatly enhance the safety of your staff, your students, and any visitors that might be on the premises.